Hello dear friends. Today I will tell you what to put in a pot with seedlings of peppers, eggplants or tomatoes after transplantation, so that the seedlings can quickly endure stress after transplantation. If you damaged the roots, and if everything is fine with your seedlings, but for some unknown reason it does not grow, then this top dressing will accelerate the growth of seedlings. Further I will explain what it will be connected with. Since you often write to me in the comments and ask, why, after picking, my seedlings, after a week or even two, do not grow at all. Everything is very simple here. If the transplant is incorrect, the root system breaks. If this is not done carefully, then, accordingly, transplanting the seedlings into a new cup, the root system of the sprout decreases. But the leaf apparatus is already large, and, accordingly, the root cannot cope with and feed such a number of leaves that it had before transplantation. Therefore, the plant devotes all its strength to building up the root system. And already when the root reaches the size that it was before the transplant, or more. Then the leaves of the plants immediately begin to grow, everything is proportional. Here is the most important thing for us to help seedlings after transplantation to build up the root system. But the best remedy for all seedlings. As you may know are phosphate fertilizers. To get the fastest effect, of course, it is best to use mineral fertilizers such as superphosphate, but I know most of you do not welcome the introduction of chemicals, mineral fertilizers for plants, and some do not have the opportunity to purchase this fertilizer, so I will now show you an alternative way, which will also help the seedlings to build up the root system after transplanting, the seedlings will quickly begin to grow. And this remedy is sold in any local store, and in any case, every housewife has it in the kitchen. This is potato starch. You can also use corn starch, they are almost the same in composition, and most importantly, potato starch contains phosphorus, which we need to form the root system. Of course in starch it is in a small amount. It is not as much as superphosphate. But on the other hand, it is in a normal accessible form for plants. It also contains calcium and potassium. What will help strengthen the seedlings themselves, make them greener and stronger. But I also think every woman knows the properties of starch, namely that it makes an excellent paste. And how it can help our seedlings. Yes, it's very simple that the soil will become more moisture intensive, respectively, we will reduce the frequency of watering the seedlings. That will help us save time on caring for seedlings. Now I'll actually show you how to properly add starch to the pot. It is desirable for seedlings that the volume of the pot for seedlings be one pint. For this volume, we need 1 teaspoon. Notice here I put the cocoa substrate in, and here I just removed it. And this is how you will need to do it, even if you have not poured the cocoa substrate. But you just have soil here. You need to remove a thin top layer of soil in order to then sprinkle the starch, but in no case should it be left like that. First, it needs to be mixed only not deeply, because the roots could already grow in a glass. Or if you have a lot of space in the cup, then just sprinkle the starch on top, mix it with a small amount of soil, and then you defy nightly need to sprinkle the starch even with mixed soil again, either with clean soil or coconut substrate. And now I will explain to you why this should be done. Any organic matter added to the pots and not topped with clean soil will allow microorganisms such as mold or fungus to form on the surface, and note that they will only form on the surface, not inside. Because here they will have all the sources of nutrition, organic matter, moisture, access to oxygen and light. And since we overlap a layer of soil, or with a coconut substrate, we isolate from one of the sources. And accordingly, only those microorganisms will develop that will process starch into easily accessible phosphorus and potassium for our seedlings. And fungus and mold will not form on top of the cup. Be sure to take this into account when making starch, as well as any other organic matter. If you sprinkle it on top of the pot, then in any case you will have mold there. And of course we carry out watering. In this way, we help our seedlings grow their root system faster. And you must write in the comments what means you use to root your seedlings. I will be very interested. On this I have everything. I wish you strong seedlings and see you in new videos, bye.